The somewhat tumultuous start for Star Citizen Patch 318 highlighted to many players just how inactive development the game is. Following a relatively stable period of gameplay patches, 318 brought with it problems in logging into the game, then shaky and unreliable performance for some who managed to make it in. Those elements formed a stark reminder for many players that Star Citizen is an alpha test. But given that Star Citizen is forming a more mainstream appeal as the years march on, is wheeling out the old excuse, oh this is an alpha, still appropriate? I'm Farrister, and in this video we'll explore the answer to that question. The first and perhaps obvious point is that yes, Star Citizen is clearly still in alpha testing. It's clearly marked on a lot of the materials out there, and also in that pop-up that you have to acknowledge every time you launch the game. And so, to some extent, it's appropriate to expect that what is in players' hands is not yet polished, optimised or feature complete. But what was seen with the 318 launch wasn't those usual elements, it was game-breaking stuff, errors that stopped players from actually playing the game at all. There's an element that testing at scale to bring out these issues is important, and that's true. But equally, many other MMOs have launched over the years without experiencing such day one issues, because the testing happens, well, in a test environment, like the PTU. The PTU or Public Test Universe is the sandbox for future patches, where players are able to experience and test new content, knowing that it's not yet ready for the live version. And this idea is not unique to Star Citizen. Many other games run a test server to iron out some of these issues before they hit the wider group of players, but this clearly didn't work for Patch 318. In part, perhaps an expectant, if not demanding community is partly to blame for that. Patch 318 was originally slated for release back in December, and was continually delayed until an eventual March release. Those delays were because it was well known the patch was not ready, there were significant problems with it that could impact player experience. The community itself is often expectant of seeing progress, and as much as the project developers are partly responsible for setting those expectations, there's undoubtedly a pressure on teams to get things out of the door and into players' hands. In some cases, perhaps knowingly before they are fully ready to stand the test of time. That said, blaming the player base doesn't feel like the right way to assess this launch. Instead, whilst many people may have known that 318 needed more time in the oven, it's also possible that few expected the launch to be as problematic as it ended up being. It's also important to point out here that this criticism isn't directed at the developers pushing the game forward, working hard on developing a game at the cutting edge of technology. This is a project management and leadership element, being able to manage expectations appropriately and know the right time to be able to set something out into the wild. There's also a judgement involved in knowing when to keep tests isolated to a more volatile test environment, and when to accept a less disruptive test at scale. It's probably more acceptable, for example, to say, yes, these NPCs are standing on chairs because Star Citizen is an alpha, than it is to say, sorry, you can't log into the game, but it's okay because we said it's an alpha. But it's easy to criticise with hindsight. I'm not a software developer, and clearly a lot of these systems are technologically groundbreaking, and lay the foundations for Star Citizen to potentially be one of the all-time great PC games in the future. Maybe this was all unavoidable and unfortunate, but perhaps there were also learnings to be gleaned from the experience, about trying to keep a more stable build for the wider player base, and isolating as much testing as possible to safer test environments. But what do you think? I look forward to reading your thoughts in the video comments. If you enjoyed this video, as always, pressing that like button is helpful in shaping future content here, and equally if you're not yet subscribed, you might like to click that whilst you're there to let YouTube know you'd like to see more videos like this in future. Otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.